Alright, hey everyone. So I thought I would um, start off with saying what I have on my lips because every time I wear a new lip, I get the question like a hundred times and it's just easier to tell you now instead of writing it in the comments like 30,000 times, okay? So I have the Revlon. Um, I think, I don't remember what the name of the lipstick is. Is it Revlon? Color Burst in 070. And that's what I have on my lips. Um, I also, before I put this on, because it is like an orangey color, I always um, put concealer on to um, nude out my lips first. So that's what I have on my lips. So I hope that helped. Um, so the other day I put out a video asking for um, video suggestions on what you want to see next. And um, people want to see how I get my hair, like maintain my light blonde hair. Um, this is new right now. Um, I have had blonde hair before, so of course I know exactly how to do it. Um, basically, toner is heaven when you have blonde hair, okay? So, all I've done to my hair to get it this light is bleach it. I had to bleach it three times. It's still not the color that I want yet, but it's very light, and I still have, like, ye um, not yellow. I still have, like, um, orange in it a bit because of when I was red, like, underneath area. You can still see the orange, but that will be gone within the next bleach, so... It does take time to bleach your hair. You don't want to bleach your hair like right after another because it's, you know, obviously damaging on your hair. But um, basically, this is heaven. You're going to want to get, sorry about the dent in the bottle. It's almost gone and like the air is like out of it or something. I don't know. Anyways, this is the Shimmering Lights Shampoo. Um, you can get the conditioner too. I personally have never used a conditioner. I have only needed to get the shampoo. Um, this is for blonde and silver hair so some people get a little nervous because if their hair is really light this can stain your hair but if you wash it right out um, with dish detergent after if you notice it stains your hair too much then it should come right out or within the next couple washes I've only had to do that to my hair once actually um, I use like a little bit like about a dollar size so about this much in my palm of my hand and I lather it in and you leave it for five minutes and it says leave it for five minutes and then rinse out after and then repeat but um, I normally just do it for the five minutes so this is literally heaven to maintain your blonde hair okay like literally a toner and you know get the conditioner too if you want. Um, also, after I bleached my hair, this was heaven on heaven on freaking heaven. Okay, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know if you have, if you ever had blonde hair before, the white lady, the ivory lady toners. Okay, so this is the new packaging for them, I guess, and this is the ivory lady. This is T10. Looks like this. It's by Wella. Um, I got this from Sally's. And it comes in a little container like this. It's very small. I've only used half of it so far. So what you do is you mix uh, one half of the container with two parts toner. So it says to mix with a 20 developer toner. But I only had 30 at the time. So I just used 30 and it still worked fine for me. And um, really, really took, like, I'm pretty, like, pretty much all the yellow out of my hair. Um... And I had, like, none. So this was a savior. So you have to be kind of careful. It says leave them for about, I think, 20 minutes or 15 minutes, maybe. Oh, 30 minutes, actually. And I left it in for only 10 minutes because I seen that it was getting really gray. Um, I think that's where you kind of have to watch um, if you, unless you really want that gray silverish hair. Um, yeah, it was going really gray, so I only left it in for a short amount of time because I really didn't want that grayish look at the time. Um, so, yeah, this is... A saint okay it's it's the best thing ever it's this is, that's how I keep my hair to the color that I want but um, also to keep your hair you know shiny and nice and looking healthy people I mean my hair should be probably falling out right now I bleached my hair so many times I dyed my hair so many times you guys can probably tell because I have tons of videos where it's all different colors or anything like that um, I find, and personally though, that the bright colors aren't as harsh on your hair, like the Manic Panic and all those colors are semi-permanent and they're honestly not as damaging. So, throughout all the different bright colors, I didn't damage my hair hardly any. So, that was easier for me to do the whole blonde, go back to blonde. So, this I put in, this is the Sheer Blonde and it is a spotlight 
Perfecting Glosser. And personally, I put this in when my hair is wet. I think you're supposed to, like, damp. Like, I put it in when it's damp. And I sometimes put a little bit in after I, um straighten my hair a very little bit this I've had this for forever and this is just I think like a sample size I don't even know it's not that big this might be a I don't know if this is a full size or not but this is awesome I'm not exactly sure how much it is but I see it's like clear um kind of a clear glossy um stuff you can also I think get sprays and stuff that are for shine and are in the I think it's called silver or something though silver lights or something I don't know what it's called but it's another toner um I was also told that this stuff is a bit expensive this uh there's one size down trim this is only the second size up and it's like $13 or something like that um but I was told you can get like almost a knockoff brand that's the same but I don't we don't have that at my Sally so I went for the uh the uh, brand of that one um yeah, that's basically all I really do to keep my hair fresh looking and to keep it from not being yellow and I'm just, that's pretty much it. I mean, everybody's hair is different. Um, some people's hair bleaches better than others. Um, I know my hair bleaches pretty well. I have a friend that we're doing her hair right now and we're kind of going through the whole bleaching process and it's like hell because her hair just does not lighten um, as, as easy as mine does. So. It's different for everybody, and basically this is, these are good things to maintain and keep your hair looking shiny and, um, you know, not yellow. So, yellow is never uh, great, in my opinion. I'm not a, the yellow. Some people like the yellow look. I like the more white-ish look. So, yeah, that's... Um, basically all I do you guys uh, I hope this video helped in some way it was requested so I thought I would go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna film a couple more videos today I think um, and I'll see you guys next time if you have any more requests for either Amber's Corner or just a video you wanna see please leave it in the down below comments or whatever or go ahead on over to my Facebook fan page and leave me a comment there. It would be much appreciated. I also follow back on Tumblr and Twitter. So if you want to go ahead and check me out there too, that would be great. And um, I'll see you guys next time. And I love you guys. So bye for now. Bye-bye.